We have a debut to make in triple overtime. Maplewood Baptist and Lansing girls basketball making their first appearance on sports overtime this season. And the Vikings will have their hands full tonight with the Black Bears. Black Bears won three straight Christian school state titles and are unbeaten in conference play this season. The Lansing taking on Maplewood Baptist, as we just said, and its visitors getting on the board first. Harmony Bailey, that one's good. The Maplewood Baptist decides to take a few steps back. Hannah May with a three-pointer. She's not done this time. It's May spotting up at the top of the key for another triple. We go to the other end of the floor now. It's the Lady Vikes, Ashley Pittman. Nothing but net. Then Brooke Wynn left open in the corner, and that's a bad idea for the other team, at least. She's making that bucket. Didn't get a score from this one quite yet. Feel free to call 1-800-STAR-910. Stop me if you've heard this matchup before. Maplewood Baptist at a Lanson. This time it's the boys. We'll start with the Lanson. Brett Williams straight on from the top of the key, knocking down the three. Maplewood's turn. Jed Burton in the lane, thinking about his options. He's going to go with the fall away jumper. That was the right choice. Back to Lanson. Ryan Bailey. This is basically a crossover drill. Watch a nifty up and under at the hoop. One of the better plays in the night. That's worth the fist bump. Taylor Tanner wide open on the wing, knocking it down. Vikings running again, though. Zach Peters getting underneath the hoop. Tough to stop him there. Lanson rolls, 55-36. High school hoops run. Going to end with a Northern Lakes two for Harbor Light at Ellsworth. Boys late in the first. Harbor Light down six. Lucas Matthews weaving, getting the hoop and the harm. Swordsman down four. Ellsworth crashing the boards. Going to get swatted out. Winter Romine calmly sinking the short, Jay. Ellsworth back up six. Swordsman getting defensive. Caleb Wendt picking the pass, taking a coast to coast. Ellsworth, though, proving too strong on their home floor. They top Harbor Light 54 36. Same matchup on the ladies' side. Lancers won the first meeting by 10. This one picking up early in the second. Lancers up four. Sharing the ball, Amanda Veenstra. Putting it home for a six point Ellsworth advantage. Harbor Light scratching back. Michaela Kirsting, right place, right time with the putback. Pulling the swordsman with a pair. Ellsworth stepping outside now. Mary Sweet rocking some sweet socks and dropping the three pointer. Harbor Light, long range game of their own. Kirsting rattling home the three ball. Swordsman within four, but in the end, it's the Lady Lancers. Well, actually, we didn't get a score call for this one again. 1 800 star 910 if you know it. Skating to Gaylord, Blue Devils coming off a 6-2 win, hoping to start February off right. First period, Devils' Garrett Richardson breaking in. He's going to use a D-man as a screen, but Morgan Lang up for the challenge. Watch the save there. Less than three minutes ago, Gaylord's Josh Delaney with the shot from the point. Vidi Veris knocking it out of the air, lighting the lamp. 1-0 Blue Devils, 43 seconds to go in the first period. How about the delaney Varis combo working again? This one's going to go five-hole. Finish exchange student scored six times today. Devils calming the storm, 9-2. Matawan riding a two-game skid. Cadillac gladly like to hand them their third straight loss. Visitors wasting no time getting on the board. Mitchell Dundor going around Quinn Kasparik. 1-0 Matawan. Less than a minute later, Cadillac's Levi Rowan zigs and zags. Beating the goaltender for a one-all game. 14 minutes to play in the third period. Uh, Kasperiak and Riley Whelan working together. Vikings getting their first lead in the contest. Same score toward the end of the first. Mike Gusser connecting with Jordan Adlam. Second shot goes in. Cadillac stays on top of the rest of the night. 6-4 is your final on the ice. Three overs from down. One to go. CMU football. Reportedly found the one to coach their team next year. I'll show you who in quadruple overtime.